What's the crack, lads? Welcome back to the last epic FC Barcelona player review and player training guide. This is going to be Ed Nielsen, right? Bit disappointing, lads. Bit disappointing. He's thrown in with the big dogs, Neymar and Romario, two end game top five players in the game and excellent versions of those cards. Neymar and Romario. We've already covered a training guide for Neymar and Romario. Check them out because you don't want to train these guys wrong. Trust me. The way the training works now with the new gameplay kind of tweaks that people have been starting to notice with, you know, the change in the meta, it's gone from kind of like quick counter and stuff. There is a lot of different ways to train Romario Neymar. So make sure and check those out um, if you want to crack on with Romario Neymar, if you get those in spins, right? They are really good players. Ed Mielsen, not so much, right? There's a couple of things to like about Ed Mielsen. Um, most notably is that he is going to be a very solid, a, you know, defensive anchor DMF, right? Usually players that have really low acceleration um, with high uh, physical contact are kind of like, they're kind of programmed and they're coded in a way that they do stay back a lot more than, say, kind of like free Roman anchorman, right? So the likes of um, Makaleli and them, they're really rapid, they're really fast. They will get forward no matter what you do with them in certain plays, right? Whereas the likes of Ed Mielsen, Busquets, uh, I'd also throw Rodri in there as well, kind of slow base players. Fabinho, we'll take a look at him in a second. Um, they are more likely to stay back, right? So I'm not going to spend too much time on Ed Mielsen. You are going to do uh, have to do a lot of training up and tweaking with this card if you want to make him the centerpiece anchorman for you, right? Starting off to early game with eFootball23, I think this guy would be a rock for you. But as you go up the divisions and as you come up against better squads, this guy is not going to cut the mustard, lads. He's not going to be able to, to, to dominate defensively for you. Now, I know that he will play well because the players that they've been adding recently have been playing way above their stats. And this guy will be no, um, no exception to that. But I do think that the B rating, obviously, with the unwavering form is going to be good as well. But his just lack of player skills, you're going to have to give him blocker, you're going to have to give him interception, you're going to have to give him probably uh, one touch pass, you're probably going to have to give him a couple of others there as well um, that you would kind of take for granted. I know he has sliding tackle, but low lofted pass, even man marking and fighting spirit will be huge on this card, right? It would be massive on this card, but it's just a lot of work and it's a lot of effort, especially when you can buy standard players that are a little bit better across the board, right? So we are going to take a look at him over on eFootballDB. These are his, this is his base card, 81 with 31 levels to go, 81 overall. Now, even if we max out defending, right, 20 into it, we're still not going to get aggression up past 89, which is a huge concern, especially when um, tackling and defensive awareness go higher and aggression doesn't actually get the boost with the player form arrow. So that is one thing that you will definitely need to look at. I mean, if you're popping 16 into him here as just your outright anchorman, that's not a bad card. I mean, you've got 96 awareness, 97 tackling, and 90 defensive engagement. Pretty decent, you would say. But you are lacking them with everything else. You know, you're going to have to lack with the pass, and you can get that to 75. That's not too bad. The dribbling isn't going to go that high no matter what you do. You probably do need tight possession with a DMF because he's on the ball a lot, especially when he intercepts the ball. You need to have that tight possession to kick in. Not dribbling so much or ball control so much, but tight possession at 70 is key. And then also on top of that as well, I'd probably pop three into acceleration. And then I would put maybe two or three in to get the stamina up and then four in to his physical that's not a bad card lads when you look at it like that that is not a bad card at all you know what i mean it's a fairly solid dmf with 97 tackling and 90 defensive engagement i think a slightly better version of him is a more rounded kind of cmf type uh, anchorman right so i would be playing a double anchorman and then a double like i would be playing a 3-5-2 formation with ed Mielsen as one anchorman and then maybe somebody else as your other anchorman, and then a box-to-box -box kind of CMF, AMF, whole player maybe, or else a box-to-box, -box. and then you have your left midfielder and right midfielder, very kind of hard-working wing backs, and then you have your striker up front. That's kind of how I would be playing it, like a 3-6-1, or else a 3-5-2. That's kind of where I would go with that, which is a very overpowered formation at the moment. But if you were going with that, this is the version that you should use of him. I personally don't recommend it, Mielsen, lads. I know he will play well. I know he can get good stats. But look, right, when you take a look at the likes of Fabinho here, lads, right, you've got a player that is in the 90s in every defensive stat, okay? He costs 180,000 GP. He's got every player skill that you could possibly want apart from blocker, okay? So straight off the rip, you're looking at a player like this that you can buy for 180,000 GP and going to cost you no coins. Then he's going to be an absolute monster in the game. And I do think that with Ed Mielsen, like he's just not going to be a, a player that... 
Look, anyone can play with anybody in this game. You know, you could turn, like, you could play with Romario and you might struggle with Romario. Do you know what I mean? Like, you might struggle with Romario and he mightn't be a player that works for you. You might be absolutely dominant, dominating with um, Ed Mielsen as a DMF. But the problem with uh, him as a DMF is that you are going to have to kind of train him up way more than you usually would train up other players, which is where the, the kind of concern comes in. I mean, if even if we take a look at it, uh, Casemiro, who costs 300000 which is quite decent, um, you know, look at the player skills that he has. Weighted pass, man marking, interception blocker, sliding tackle, acrobatic clear, aerial superiority, and fighting spirit. You literally can buy this player and not touch the player. Like, you don't need to touch anything with his skills, anything at all. Just pop up his defensive stats. They're all going to get boosts as well into the 92-93 range. And then on top of that as well, you've got a couple of more stats here. You can have 75 passing if you want. You can have your dribbling at 70, which is going to be, or your tight possession at 70, which is nice. You can even get his dexterity to 70. You can get his lower body and his stamina up to 84. He's still going to have that physical contact. So yeah, I think Ed Mielsen is a bit of a miss. I would have liked to seen him with maybe 10 more levels that you could actually max out his defensive capabilities and then have the tight possession a little bit higher as well. But yeah, I definitely think he should have been uh, benefiting from a uh, a little bit more there. Now, if we were to switch this up a bit, he can play as a CB as well. And I think when you train him as a CB, it's slightly different because you've got the defensive stats, the aggression and the defensive awareness don't come into it as much. So with this version of him here, we'd just be maxing out his stuff there you still have 70 acceleration um a little bit lacking in the air with this one obviously so you could just take this take this and then obviously you could pump these up into aerial ability to have 84 heading that's a pretty decent center back he goes to a 98 overall as a center back there um as you see down at the bottom there uh he goes to 98 so that's just an alternative if you were looking for a very aggressive tackling defensive awareness guy with 70 acceleration it's quite decent. Obviously, as an anchorman, um, I think a destroyer is better off back there. But yeah, let me know if you spin or skip. Let me know in your pursuit of Neymar and Romario if you get Ed Nielsen and let me know what you think. But that is it for me. I will be back quite soon. Look, any player can be turned into a good player, um, especially when they've got the skills and the stats that, to back it up. And especially that you can add additional skills now. You add blocker, like even as a center forward, a center back, right? You add blocker to this version of him. With 90 engagement, 96 awareness, and 97 tackling, with 71 acceleration and 86 jump, 81 stamina, quite decent. You don't even need that stamina that high, and you could pop in a few more to defense if you wanted to, or aerial strength if you wanted to as well, um, to get it up to 87, and maybe pop one more in there. You're looking for a center back. If you were to go that route and get blocker and interception on him, and aerial superiority, and you know heading you would have a monster CB that would kind of change things up a bit. That could still bring the ball forward. So that is it for me, lads. I'll be back soon. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you later. Peace.